ओके सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद पॉइंट नंबर फाइव लेट एस क्विकली रिकलेक्ट वॉट इज पॉइंट नंबर फाइव पॉइंट नंबर फाइव इज नथिंग बट इशूज विद डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट फार्म सब्सिडीज एंड मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइजेस देन वी सी पी डी एस ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन लिमिटेशन रिवैम्पिंग इशूज ऑफ फूड स्टॉक एंड बफर इशूज ऑफ बफर स्टॉक एंड फूड सिक्योरिटी टेक्नोलॉजी मिशन एंड इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ एनिमल रेयरिंग वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट we have we have uh, you know we have already completed subsidies wala part what are the subsidy regimes direct indirect farm subsidy we saw fertilizer subsidy we saw all of that theek okay? hai now we will let us uh, go to msp we already have a vague idea of what is msp we already know okay what is msp so let us start by drawing a simple diagram this is a farmer he goes to the market he goes to the market now when the farmer goes to the market what he will do is he will he will be willing to sell it to the person who is giving highest prices which is obviously very simple now let us say government is the highest suppose government is the highest government procures goods government procures goods from farmer now this can be anyone this can be central government fci this can be state government this can be private entrepreneurs guarantee also now these guys will go to storage they will store right they will store this now when they store this they will again send it to state government state government will send it to pds across their state and pds will give it to beneficiaries yes or no now would these beneficiaries be rich or poor these beneficiaries are poor right so first we are talking about here we are talking so we spoke about all the issues which the farmer faces up to this stage and up to this stage till he brings to the market and we spoke about marketing issues also now let us move to and we also spoke about the subsidies which are given now let us spoke to, uh, let us move to the government's angle or the government side of it now what is the government's angle behind it or what is the government side behind it let us try to find out government i told you that government is willing to buy at some price that price is called as msp what is msp msp is minimum support price msp is nothing but minimum support price ki if you get anywhere outside from any other buyer if you get any amount it is fine you buy it from there below a certain amount if uh, you know you are not willing to sell or if you are not finding good buyer then come to me i will set a minimum amount so that you don't have to sell below this amount it is it acts as an income security it acts as a security it acts as a support that is why it is called as a minimum support price it is fairly easy fairly understood theek hai minimum support price it is called as so let us speak about minimum support price now minimum support price very important concept what is the uh, what is msp what are the issues of minimum support price etc theek okay? hai so minimum support price is given by so i am not boring you with the history and how this used to happen and all in 1960 i think 1965 1965 we came up with committee on agricultural produce okay we commit we came up with agricultural produce committee or something like that and then it was renamed as cacp very important cacp 1965 we came up with agricultural produce committee i'll tell you how it happened agriculture produce committee then 1985 this was renamed as same this was renamed as CACP very important committee on agricultural costs and prices committee on agricultural costs and prices CACP committee on agricultural costs and prices very 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 interesting now this committee 
इज द बैकबोन ऑफ एम एस पी रेजीम दिस कमिटी वर्क अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर दिस कमिटी वर्क अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर ठीक है वॉट डज दिस कमिटी डू दिस कमिटी रेकमेंड्स द और कैलकुलेट्स द एम एस पी विच इज टू बी डन विच इज टू बी टेकन फ्रॉम द फार्मर्स और यू नो विच सॉरी विच इज टू बी गिवन टू द फार्मर्स हाउ डू यू डिसाइड हाउ डज गवर्नमेंट डिसाइड हाउ मच मनी इज टू बी पेड टू द फार्मर्स पर क्विंटल पर टन पर के जी ऑफ राइस दिस कमिटी ना वॉट दिस कमिटी डज इज रेकमेंड्स अल्टीमेटली this is a committee so it will only recommend it will recommend msp okay msp is recommended by cacp for 23 commodities now tell me one thing which would be the commodities for which msp is recommended would it be more cereals or food crops or would it be plantation crops or cash crops it is always food crops and cereals because that those farmers we have to support right those are the farmers we have to support because plantation or cash crops they get their dues or they get their uh, remunerative prices one more thing here these are indian buyers the farmer can directly sell to exports also that is also possible these guys if they buy they can go for food processing also whoever is buying the farmer can himself go for food processing or even the buyers private buyers can go for food processing and then two things can happen what can happen domestic sale can happen okay very good exports can happen this we are going to cover in point 6 this we covered in point 4 this we are going to cover today in point 5 remaining part of point 5 theek hai For twenty-three commodities, and they are classified into seven groups. They are classified into seven groups. Different groups. Eh? They are classified into different groups. Not only seven, depending on. So groups can be what? Kharif, Rabi. कैश ठीक है कैश क्रॉप्स भी है कैश क्रॉप्स भी है मेनली दे आर फॉर खारीफ एंड रॉबी राबी सो वॉट आर दोज ग्रुप्स सेवन सीरियल्स फाइव पल्सेस सेवन ऑयल सीड्स four commercial crops four commercial crops commercial crops ka example commercial crops are cash crops example sugarcane copra cotton jute ठीक है सीरियल्स में क्या है पैडी वीट मेट अमेज पल्सेस में ग्राम तूर मूंग एक्सेट्रा ऑयल सीड में ग्राउंड नट मस्टर्ड सोयाबीन सनफ्लावर एक्सेट्रा डिड यू नोटिस देर इज नो प्लांटेशन क्रॉप यर एक्सेप्ट जूट अदर क्रॉप्स आर नॉट देर टी कॉफी रबर इज नॉट देर बेसिकली दैट इज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ठीक है नाउ दीज ग्रुप्स आर खारीफ राबी शुगर केन not cash actually sugar cane raw jute wo jute same and copra okay these are the groups and these are the categories these are the classification so msp is released for kharif crops now they can be of course they can be cereals pulses oil seeds 
एमएसपी रिलीज फॉर रबी क्रॉप्स सीरियल्स ऑयल्स पल्सीड्स पल्सेस ऑयल सीड्स एक्सेट्रा शुगर केन कम्स इन कमर्शियल क्रॉप्स रॉजूट इनका अलग अलग से होता है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एवरीथिंग इज सेम फॉर एवरीथिंग एक्सेप्ट शुगर केन एक्सेप्ट शुगर केन एवरीथिंग इज सिमिलर राइट एक्सेप्ट शुगर केन ओके नाउ एमएसपी इज डिक्लेयर और रेकमेंडेड फॉर दिस गवर्नमेंट डिक्लेयर एमएसपी मोस्टली देर इज नो चेंज इन एमएसपी वेन वेन सी एस सी पी रिकमेंड एम एस पी देर इज नो चेंज वही डिक्लेयर हो जाता है दैट इज ओनली गिवन टू फार्मर नाउ इट इज रिवाइज एम एस पी इज डिक्लेयर एवरी सीजन एवरी क्रॉपिंग सीजन में एम एस पी इज डिक्लेयर कि क्या होगा कैसे होगा ठीक है नाउ द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम अराइज इज दैट हाउ टू कॉस्ट हाउ टू डिटरमाइन द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस सो लेट एस से यू हैव राइस यर कॉस्ट कैसे निकालोगे Who gets MSP? Who gets MSP? Government or farmer? Farmer gets MSP. We agree with this. Farmer gets MSP. We all agree with this. Very good. Yes. Okay. Farmer gets MSP. So if we want to calculate MSP, now think from a calculating angle. If you want to calculate MSP, how to calculate MSP? Calculate कैसे करोगे? We are talking about MSP now, right? Minimum support price. the price at which government buys grains from farmers or all these crops from farmers if the farmers don't have any other better opportunities to sell minimum support price hai wo how do you calculate msp how do you calculate msp or what are the factors क्या क्या लोगे आप फैक्टर्स टू बी कंसिडर्ड यू कंसिडर द फैक्टर्स की फार्मर कॉस्ट क्या है तो कॉस्ट ऑफ इनपुट्स व्हाट आर द मार्केट प्राइसेस ओके कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट ठीक है दीज आर द फैक्टर्स यू सी दीज आर द फैक्टर्स यू चेक डिमांड सप्लाई क्या है इन्फ्लेशन क्या है एनवायरमेंटल कंसिडरेशन एनवायरमेंटल कंसिडरेशन सो इफ शुगर केन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्करेज शुगर केन विल यू रिड्यूस एम एस पी और विल यू इंक्रीज एम एस पी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्करेज शुगर केन यू विल रिड्यूस एम एस पी मिनिमम प्राइस यू विल रिड्यूस की अर्लियर यूज टू गेट फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज पर के जी नाउ यू आर ओनली गेटिंग टू हंड्रेड डिस्करेज एनवायरमेंट हाउ मच इज द इन्फ्लेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट Now tell me if cost of inputs rise to farmers will MSP rise or will MSP reduce? MSP will rise because ultimately farmer is also looking to recover his cost. If market prices rise, which means inflation, if market prices rise, what will happen to the MSP? It might go down also. Why? Because because very 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 important. Government now has to balance between setting the prices for the farmers as well as setting the prices for the consumers. For consumers, it wants lower prices. For farmers, it wants higher prices. Yes or no? is this not a dichotomy in the objectives of government is this not a dilemma in the government's uh, policy making yes this is indeed a dilemma theek okay? hai so they check all these factors cacp checks all these factors sorry ha cacp checks all these factors so it makes a list chalo first list cost of farmers or cost to farmers ke uska cost kya hai seed cost fertilizer cost how much has he paid etc for various inputs labor cost machinery land cost land ka rent etc kitna hai that that they take second second what they take is plus family labor ka cost See, I told you his his wife helps him in the farming. His brother is helping him. His children are helping him. Family labor should also be remunerated. ठीक है? We are calculating the cost. कि कैसे निकलता है? Third, we also add notional costs. Sir, what are notional costs? Coming, coming. 
नोशनल कॉस्ट एग्जाम्पल नोशनल रेंट सो ही कुड हैव सो वॉट दिस इज दिस इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट कि यू कुड हैव डन एनी थिंग विद दैट लैंड बट यू वेंट फॉर फार्मिंग सो वी विल कंपेन्सेट यू फॉर दैट नोशनल रेंट हाइपोथेटिकल रेंट और हाइपोथेटिकल कॉस्ट दे टेक ठीक है नोशनल रेंट नोशनल कॉस्ट ऑफ फैमिली लेबर राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ फार्मर टूक अ लोन ऑफ टू लैख रुपीज वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल आई गिव फार्मर टूक अ लोन ऑफ टू लैख रुपीज फ्रॉम अ बैंक ही पेज टू थाउजेंड रुपीज एज इंटरेस्ट सपोज टू थाउजेंड रुपीज एज इंटरेस्ट इज इट नॉट एन इनपुट कॉस्ट येस इट इज एन इनपुट कॉस्ट But if farmer did not take a loan of two lakh rupees, instead used his own money, or let's say his in-laws or his parents gave him money without any interest, without any interest, then his cost is reduced. But he is using his own money. So if you take a loan, you will be reimbursed from the government. If you don't take a loan, if you use your own money, you will not be reimbursed. Aisa kaisa? How will this work? No. So you take notional cost, notional rent. नोशनल इंटरेस्ट राइट यू डू ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू कैलकुलेट नोशनल कॉस्ट नोशनल रेंट नोशनल इंटरेस्ट यू कैलकुलेट डिफरेंट थिंग्स ठीक है नाउ दिस इज नॉट ओनली फैमिली लेबर दिस इज प्लस सो कॉस्ट प्लस दिस प्लस दिस ठीक है दिस इज प्लस let us call it by different names this is a2 this is a2 plus family labor hai na family labor and this is c2 theek hai these are different names given to these costs so what is a2 if i ask you what is a2 what is a2 a2 is only input cost to farmers what is a2 plus fl Input cost to farmers plus family labor. What is C two? Input cost to farmers plus family labor plus notional cost. These are just examples. ठीक है? So which will be smaller? Which will be bigger? This would be the smallest. This would be bigger than this, and this would be the largest cost. Which one would cause maximum remuneration to the farmer? A two, A two plus F L or C two? C two will. This is comprehensive. C two is comprehensive. F L is family labor. right so which one will cause maximum remuneration to the farmer c2 which one will cause maximum loss to the government or maximum expenditure on the government c2 okay which one do you think should be given to the farmers now think and tell which one should be given to the farmers socho Think and tell which one should be given to the farmers. A two dena hai, C two dena hai, A two plus F L. Now this is also a dilemma because C two, if you give, it will cost a lot of expenditure, बहुत huge cost होगा. A two, if you give, it will be very less cost, but at the same time, it will not be remunerative to the farmer. You have to balance it out, sir. A two plus F L, very good. that is what government said government in 2018 19 said we will give so abhi obviously isme profit nahi hai if you notice this is just cost this is not profit farmer wants to recover his cost plus earn some profit then only it will be remunerative this is basic so government declared that we will give 1.5 times a2 plus fl what is the meaning of this 1.5 times a2 plus fl matlab kya ki whatever would be this cost whatever would be this cost this cost means only family labor nahi cost plus family labor cost to farmers plus family labor uska 1.5 times we will give 1.5 times so if this is 100 rupees a2 plus fl is 100 rupees we'll give you 150 50% profit 1.5 times theek hai 1.5 times A2 plus FL will give. Did I tell you 
in the last last to last to last lecture about dr m s swaminathan considered to be father of modern agriculture in india there was a national committee on farmers i told you he gave a lot of recommendations theek hai national committee of farmers one of the recommendation of that committee was one of the recommendations of national committee of farmers one of the recommendations of one of the recommendations of national commission of farmers national committee of farmers under dr m s swaminathan was give c2 give c2 mean c2 plus something give msp based on c2 and not a2 plus fl so if i ask you today what is the msp based on you should say it is based on a2 plus fl so we are doing costing here cost nikal rahe hum log how much is the farmer cost plus how much is the family labor income or how much should you remunerate family income uska total you do 1.5 times but dr ms swaminathan it says use c2 c2 plus something मतलब लेट से 1.5 टाइम्स है सो 1.5 टाइम्स ऑफ सी टू यूज करो ठीक है एंड दिस इज वेयर फार्मर्स प्रोटेस्टेड और फार्मर्स अपोज दिस फॉर्मूला फार्मर सेड एमएसपी शुड इंक्रीज टू द लेवल्स ऑफ सी टू का सम परसेंटेज और सी टू का सम टाइम्स ऑफ सी टू farmer said it should not be a2 plus fl currently government is giving a2 plus fl farmer said you should give c2 this is a point of contention between farmers and the government samjha yes or no did you understand this very 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 logical very logical flow hai a2 a2 plus fl c2 1.5 times we give so agar we ask farmers how much is your cost he says sir 1000 rupees what cost he says sir 700 is my um, 700 is my input cost 300 is my family labor and 250 is my notional cost we say 250 notional cost nahi chahiye we are government 1000 ka you give us bill 1000 into 1.5 times 1500 we will give you msp this happens for how many crops or how many commodities 23 commodities remember so rice ka alag calculation hoga wheat calculation would be different because inputs would be different family labor would be different requirements of uh, machinery would be different so this cost will differ from product to product theek hai this is how msp is calculated now what are the issues of msp issues kya kya see good points are known to everyone because it helps farmers and all issues of msp it directly contributes to inflation how sir market price is 25 30 rupees you are giving 45 rupees market prices are 30 40 rupees government is giving 60 rupees see farmers also put pressure on increasing this so suppose government wanted to give a2 but because of lot of protest government relented suppose that government agreed that we will give a2 plus fl abhi kya hoga isme inflation will happen how inflation will happen because if you are giving farmer higher prices that higher prices would be ultimately recovered from end consumer only unless you are poor and getting subsidized food grains that is different but the higher prices of goods which means farmer is selling for higher price yes or no and when seller is selling for higher price buyer has to buy at higher price inflation happens again same bias towards surplus states see i like explain bias towards surplus states what is the bias towards surplus states you are a farmer let's say in tamil nadu one guy is a farmer let's say in up government only procures from him not from you who will benefit from msp he will benefit you will not benefit theek hai 
Similarly, government does most of its procurement from certain states only. Reason being different, quality requirements, hote, quantity requirements, hote. there are different reasons for that. But, but that results in bias in surplus states. For example, I will tell you, 95% procurement of wheat is done from Punjab, Haryana and UP. 95% of wheat. Various states produce wheat. But procurement of 95% of wheat is done from Punjab, Haryana and UP. Similarly, more than 20 states produce rice. But only 4 states may maximum procurement of rice is done. Which means government with its MSP goes to buy rice, wheat and other, uh, other commodities only from selected states. Now, why is that? Because see, there is no... Uh, much of political agenda here, reason being they are closer to the godowns, they are in bulk quantity, very important criteria, bulk quantity. Government will not go to 100 farmers. No? If one farmer is giving you so many goods or so many quantities, so large quantity, then you will buy from him. So, this is bias towards surplus states, very, very, very important. Less investment in other sectors. If government invests more money here, less investment or less money is available for other sectors. Subsidies or MSP is also a form of subsidy only. Theke? Less investment in other sectors, any other sector. Where do subsidies come? If they are revenue in nature, where do they come? Revenue expenditure. When they do revenue expenditure there, government money reduces. That money which you are giving extra subsidy, extra MSP that you are giving could have been used for giving loan to industrialists, could have been used for building roads, could have been used for maintaining roads, maintaining hospitals, maintaining schools, less investment in other sectors. Right? Very important distortion in cropping pattern, very, very, very important. Very important, distortion in cropping pattern. If wheat and rice MSP is high, what do you think farmers will produce? Sugarcane, maize, wheat and rice, simple. Right? So, distortion in cropping pattern prevents diversification. I hope you understand this. Prevents diversification of crops. Very, very, very impo important. And this has resulted in what? Serialization. Bias towards cereals. These are the major issues. There are various other issues, but these are the major issues. Right? Next, I told you sugarcane ka alag se hota hai. How sugarcane works? Sugarcane is not given MSP, sugarcane is given FRP. Saroho, kya hai? Sugarcane is given FRP. What is FRP? Not minimum support price, but see the pos see the positive change of nomenclature here. Fair and remunerative prices. FRP, fair and remunerative price. Sir, why is this? I'll tell you. Sugarcane is a crop which loses its sugar content if procurement is done far away from the fields. Okay? So, many times procurement centers are located near to the fields or, or if procurement, so normally I told you procurement uh, warehouses, they also provide services ki will pick up sugar cane or will pick up crops from your field and all. So, we want farmers to immediately transport sugar cane to the producer, sugar producer. Immediately transport sugar cane to the storage. Immediately transport sugar cane to sugar industry, sugar manufacturer. Do it immediately. Do it immediately. 
okay now when they do that immediately farmer says sir please reimburse us for our transport cost also we are using our own vehicle to bring it we are hiring our own vehicle because if we wait for you you will come tomorrow but tab tak khatam ho jayega sugar content will be reduced so that is why we also we also compensate them for transport cost our msp our other crops not compensated for transport cost yes they are also compensated but here compulsorily the price is more remunerative the price is more attractive and this is one of the reason why sugar canes are very profit making but are causing loss loss of water are causing lots of water use water abuse and uh, obviously when you cultivate monoculture may sugar cane sugar cane sugar cane then what will happen ultimately what will happen soil fertility zero and uh, then that land will become barren right so frp bolte hai frp now when this msp is declared by the government when the government gives msp this um, procurement is done by mainly food corporation of india let us for for the purposes of understanding uh, let us see that uh, let us assume that procurement is done by the food corporation of india theek okay? hai so when this msp is given states if they procure something or you know states also add some part of incentives on the msp so if government declared an msp of 2000 rupees per kg state will say ki theek hai we will also give some 200 rupees extra to the farmers so farmers will get 2200 2000 from central government and 200 from state government aisa hota hai whatever states need whatever they are more in requirement if oil is required more so they will incentivize that they will raise the price here what happens is that frp is declared by central government see this frp is declared by central government only for sugar cane huh? valid only for sugar cane and there is one more price issued by state governments there is one more price issued by state governments which is sap what is sap now sugar cane is trouble yes or no called as state advisory prices sap state advisory prices these are given by state these are given by center often these are higher from frp higher than frp why most of the sugar mills most of the sugar cane producing areas are up and maharashtra these are the two leading states of sugar cane production most of the sugar fields are owned by politicians and their related and their associate people they want maximum remuneration possible central government will calculate frp as per like msp only it calculates the cost and all thoda extra additions are there central government will say 900 rupees per kg frp state governments may state mein jo farmers hai sugar cane farmers they will try to lobby the state government ki sir please because they are relatives and associated persons and khud ka hi hai so state governments declare sap which are more mostly higher than frp and when they are higher than frp it causes a loss to state government also what is the environmental impact just imagine the environmental impact because of lobbying by big sugar cane farmers small sugar cane farmers also try sugar cane they try sugar cane they also get sap when they get higher sap higher water use higher environmental degradation higher water abuse higher soil degradation and ultimately what less less and less water is available for agriculture samjha this is the issue with sugar cane so sugar cane is under dual pricing sugar cane is under dual pricing which is a big issue ठीक है दीज आर द इश्यूज ऑफ एम एस पी ऑब्वियसली ऑब्वियसली बिगेस्ट इश्यू ऑफ एम एस पी नो फर्दर डिस्कशन ऑन दिस वी हैव डिस्कस दिस ट्रेड डिस्टोर्शन इन डब्ल्यू टी ओ 
fairly simple, fairly easy to understand trade distortion on WTO in uh, on in WTO. ठीक है सो वॉट वॉज द सिलेबस पॉइंट डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट सब्सिडीज इशूज ऑफ डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट सब्सिडीज एंड एम एस पी ठीक है सिलेबस पॉइंट फिनिश एम एस पी डन सब्सिडीज डन लेट एस मूव अड टू पी डी एस वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट सिलेबस पॉइंट पी डी एस ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शनिंग लिमिटेशन रिवैम्पिंग पी डी एस okay pds in india pds in india is under ministry of consumer affairs ministry of consumer affairs the full name is food and public distribution now i'll tell you a short story msp is done now we are looking at pds public distribution system this is storage is done this is pds it is see the full form see the english public distribution system it is a public distribution system okay it is distribution system pds public distribution system you are distributing grains rice wheat etc to the people now whom do you think you are distributing to the rich or to the poor mainly to the poor theek hai that is pds initially in 1950s and 60s we were focused on food security we were focused on increasing production hence pds was made available to everyone irrespective of rich or poor then after that in 1997 we changed the regime and in 1997 we brought a new regime theek hai called tpds we'll come to that so pds mein procurement who procures fci procures central government state government also procures currently what is issued under pds rice wheat kerosene sugar and some in some states pulses in some states pulses millets etc mainly rice wheat kerosene sugar are given under pds given to people what are the objectives of pds what are the objectives of pds food availability food availability price control nutrition to maintain the or to improve the nutritional status ठीक है दीज आर द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ पी डी एस राइट फूड अवेलेबिलिटी यू मेक फूड अवेलेबल यू कंट्रोल द प्राइजेस यू एनहेंस द न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस आई होप इट इज वेरी क्लियर फेरली क्लियर येस और नो वेरी गुड ठीक है नाउ इट एक्स एज अ सेफ्टी नेट येस और नो इट एक्स एज अ सेफ्टी नेट नाउ पी डी एस सिस्टम एंटायर पी डी एस सिस्टम कैन बी डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट वन टू थ्री वन में क्या है प्रोक्योरमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड स्टोरेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन
ठीक है प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ फूड ग्रेन स्टोरेज एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फूड ग्रेन दीज आर द मेन स्टेजेस इन पी डी एस गिवन बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑब्जेक्टिव आर फूड अवेलेबिलिटी प्राइस कंट्रोल एंड न्यूट्रिश टू इम्प्रूव टू इम्प्रूव और एनहेंस द न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस यू कैन एलेबोरेट दिस बाय से टू फाइट इन्फ्लेशन ऑल्सो इफ प्राइजेस आर राइजिंग यू गेट प्राइजेस सॉरी यू गेट फूड ग्रेन फॉर अ लेसर प्राइस फ्रॉम पी डी एस शॉप सो ठीक है यू गो देर वो कर लिया आपने राइट right? so in pds in uh, pds was started in 60s 70s to make available food grains at cheaper price public distribution shops uh, public distribution system this happens through what through fair price shops i hope you must have heard about this fps what do you need to access pds do you need ration card theek okay? hai You need ration card. This is known. This is common knowledge. This is general awareness. This should be known to you. इतना तो पता होना चाहिए. You need ration card, right? I hope you know there are different colors of ration card. Yellow or sorry, white, orange, blue. Different colors है. White means there are white means there above poverty line or there highest income category. Uh, orange means just above poverty line. Blue means below poverty line. ऐसा कुछ है. ठीक है समथिंग लाइक दैट इज देयर ये तो हो गया प्रोक्योरमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट स्टोरेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नाउ पीडीएस में वी स्टार्टेड पीडीएस अर्ली ऑन 1997 में वी वी सॉ दैट पीडीएस में लॉट ऑफ मनी इज गोइंग बिकॉज यू आर गिविंग फूड ग्रेन फॉर ऑल सी अर्लियर वी यूज टू फाइंड और वी यूज टू Keep two prices. Earlier we used to keep two prize prizes pre 1997. One for below poverty line, two for above poverty line. So what is poverty line? We'll cover in poverty chapter. Basically, be below poverty line means what? Minimum criteria established for poor people. If you are earning let's say less than hundred rupees per day, suppose. If you are earning less than hundred rupees per day, then hundred rupees is the poverty line. If you are below the poverty line, earning below hundred rupees, then it you come under BPL. And if you are earning more than hundred rupees per day, you come under APL. So we had two prices BPL APL. अच्छा चल रहा था pre 1997, but we saw that नहीं यार costing is increasing lot of. Uh, so this price was obviously lower. This price was higher. But still we saw that to give. पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम टू गिव इट टू एवरी वन कॉस्टली हो रहा है थोड़ा ठीक है देन वी केम टू नाइनटीन नाइनटी सेवन एंड वी इंट्रोड्यूस समथिंग कॉल्ड एस टी पी डी एस दिस आई एम टॉकिंग दिस अबाउट रिवाइज पीडीएस आर पी डी एस बट दैट नॉट सो इंपॉर्टेंट टी पी डी एस इज वॉट targeted pds targeted towards bpl targeted towards below poor uh, below poverty line okay then we saw we saw in bpl also there are someone who are less poor still under poverty line and someone who are very 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 poor abhi inka kya kare what should we do then we introduced a scheme in 2000 called day not day ay 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 antyodaya anna yojana antyodaya means those who are at the very bottom line of the food chain or the poverty chain out of bpl we removed or we chose those people who are very poor in the poor also poorest of the poor and we called them antyodaya and then for them antyodaya anna yojana was established in 2000 we gave them 35 kg earlier it was 25 kg then it was reversed to 35 kg we gave them 35 kg of food grains per household important 
पर मंथ पर हाउस होल्ड पर मंथ वी गेव देम थर्टी फाइव के जी अंत्योदय अन्न योजना ठीक है टू पर के जी एंड कॉस्ट क्या था इसका टू पर के जी फॉर व्हीट एंड थ्री पर के जी फॉर राइस This was the costing, two per kg for wheat and three per kg for rice. This is the evolution, ah. Huh? इसमें भी ये मिल रहा था, but we targeted below poverty level. ठीक है? Then came 2013. The main scheme which we need to study in depth. उसकी हम बात करेंगे. We came in 2013. National Food Security Act. NFSA. National Food Security Act. NFSA. ठीक है, वी व्हाई डिड आई स्किप न्यूट्रिशनल कंटेंट ऑफ द फूड विच दे इट ना वॉट आर द लिमिटेशन ऑफ पीडीएस What are the limitations of PDS? First limitations: urban bias. Ration shops are mostly uh, situated in uh, urban areas, and uh, rural areas have very less density of ration shops. Urban bias. Food subsidy bill. Food subsidy amount very high cost. See if you are giving, if you are giving farmers high MSP, and if you are issuing the food grains at three rupees, two rupees, think about the difference that the government is paying. समझ आ रहा है? Think about the difference the government is paying now. Food subsidy bill, बहुत high है. Limitations of PDS. loss of food grain issues with fci i hope you know what are issues with fci we have discussed issues with fci 1 2 3 4 5 issues with fci sare aa jayenge yahan pe ओके बीपीएल टारगेटिंग देर आर लॉट ऑफ घोस्ट बेनिफिशरीज राशन कार्ड पे नाम है एवरीथिंग इज देयर फोटो इज देयर बट बट द पर्सन इज डेड एंड मनी इज गोइंग टू समवन एल्स इज अकाउंट घोस्ट बेनिफिशरीज डाइवर्जन्स same thing as gosh beneficiaries food is going away see food is issued at pds shop i went to pds shop and i took my quota of 35 kg suppose i took my friend's quota of 35 kg at 2 rupees per kg 70 rupees i paid and then i sold it in the open market at the current market price diversions diversion bhi hota hai What are the reforms and revamping that is required? See, in this, in this PDS, entire thing comes. 
प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑल्सो हैपन्स ठीक है नाउ सिंस वी आर इन पीडीएस लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग वेन गवर्नमेंट विल प्रोक्योर फ्रॉम द फार्मर इट विल पे फार्मर विच प्राइस मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस इज दिस फेयरली क्लियर वेन गवर्नमेंट विल ट्रांसपोर्ट दिस टू इट स्टोरेज विल इट नॉट इनकर ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट येस और नो टेल मी येस सर इट विल इनकर ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट विल इट नॉट इनकर स्टोरेज कॉस्ट येस और नो येस सर इट विल इनकर स्टोरेज कॉस्ट सो एम एस पी गिवन टू फार्मर रॉ मटेरियल मिला प्लस ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट प्लस स्टोरेज कॉस्ट is it not the total cost to the government which it has to bear yes sir that is the total cost the government has to bear theek okay? hai now this total price this plus this plus this is called as see this economic cost are you understanding economic cost now tell me now tell me if a private individual buys goods from the farmers can farmer sell goods to the private individual yes he can if a private individuals buy goods from the farmers or even government if it government also buys goods that the price at which government buys goods is called as procurement price sir then what is msp see procurement price is the price at which goods are procured msp is the minimum support price in case of government 90% they are same MSP 80 rupees hai, you procured at 80 rupees. rupees tomorrow MSP is 80 rupees, but government wants to procure more of it. Government is giving 85 rupees tomorrow. MSP is 80. MSP is minimum. इसके ऊपर हो सकता है ना Government can procure above MSP. Private people can procure above MSP. Private people can procure below MSP also, provided farmer is willing to sell. It is not illegal to sell below MSP. ठीक है So procurement price is the price at which goods are procured. So your procurement price plus your transport plus your storage is your economic cost economic cost usko bolte hai total cost theek hai now this is with fci let's say this is with fci go down mein ye cost hai but these goods are sent to state governments and sold to state governments to give it to the people at what cost 3 rupees 2 rupees barabar that price is called as issue price सर व्हाट इज इशू प्राइस प्राइस एट विच फूड इज इश्यूड एग्जांपल रुपीज थ्री पर के जी नाउ डू यू थिंक रुपीज थ्री वॉज पेड टू द फार्मर नो फार्मर मस्ट बी पेड लेट्स से फिफ्टी रुपीज प्लस योर ट्रांसपोर्ट स्टोरेज एडेड टेन मोर रुपीज योर इकोनॉमिक कॉस्ट इज हाउ मच सिक्सटी रुपीज but you are issuing this is your sale price na you are fci you are storing everything now you are selling it to state governments to sell it to pda shops to sell it to people so this people se kitna charge ho raha hai 3 rupees 3 3 rupees flows here flows here and flows here how much they are getting they are getting issue price theek hai what about the difference is it loss or profit of fci think and tell is the difference loss or profit of fci it is the loss fci is ultimately central government if procurement is done by state government then it is loss of state government yes or no kya hoga iska what about this loss of government what to do kya karna chahiye is loss ka who will bear this loss You are buying at eighty rupees, ninety rupees, sixty rupees, seventy rupees, but you are selling at three rupees, two rupees. What is the gap? Who will bear this loss? This loss is borne by the government. This loss is borne by the government, and we call that loss as. So, how to calculate the loss here? If I want to calculate the loss, how will I calculate? I will calculate the loss as economic cost. माइनस माई इशू प्राइस ठीक है इकोनॉमिक कॉस्ट इज वॉट आई हैव टू पे ट्रांसपोर्ट स्टोरेज एंड फार्मर प्रोक्योरमेंट प्राइस राधर नॉट एम एस पी ऑलवेज इट कैन बी प्रोक्योरमेंट एंड देन दिस इज वॉट आई गॉट बैक आफ्टर सेलिंग माइनस इशू प्राइस दिस मच आई रिकवर्ड हाउ मच इज द अनरिकवर्ड पोर्शन इज माई टोटल लॉस येस और नो दिस इज बॉर्न बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट 
or state government depending and this my friends is called food subsidy take a minute to try to understand what i just said this is called food subsidy Samja, this is food subsidy. What we saw in the previous lecture in the subsidy bill, two lakh twenty four thousand crores, two lakh twenty four thousand crores, two lakh forty two thousand crores. That is nothing but food subsidy. This is food subsidy. Food subsidy is the difference between the issue price and the economic cost. It is the it is it is known as food subsidy. It is borne by central government, mostly central government because most of the procurement is done by central government. so the cost at which fci send goods to state government minus the cost at which fci procures the goods and all these costs also transport storage is called as food subsidy that is coming from your and my pocket in the form of taxes okay food subsidy is a revenue expenditure which results in revenue deficit which might result in cap, uh, total overall deficit how to do that increase revenue ex uh, revenue income revenue receipts one of the revenue receipt is taxation i hope fiscal policy is very clear food subsidy did you understand what is food subsidy did you understand what is food subsidy this is food subsidy theek okay, hai we saw msp msp issues of msp pds PDS का timeline, limitations of PDS. Now how to reform them? Revamping. Before revamping, let us see some reforms. नहीं ठीक है चलो revamping देख लेते हैं. We'll see the reforms later. I told you PDS has three divisions. PDS has Or PDS can be studied in three parts. First part is the procurement part. Second part is transport storage. Third part is distribution. Okay. So when you revamp, obviously you will revamp all these three parts. So can I divide this into first part procurement? Second part transportation and storage. Third part distribution. Let us say con distribution or consumption. साथ में ही ले लो चलो ठीक है. Procurement में क्या ना ऐसे we have covered lot of FCI issues. FCI revamping is required. We have discussed FCI में क्या क्या revamping होना चाहिए. We have seen that. ठीक है. Very important. procurement should be done of include pulses millets and core cereals barabar don't only include sugar so don't only include wheat rice etc include all these things also fci reforms we have done liquidation policy uh theek hai yahan pe encourage e negotiable warehouse receipts so if you don't need physical stock just just buy the e negotiable warehouse receipts whenever you will require physical stock tabhi it will help with your storage capacity lot of fci revamping we know all these points so fci revamping liquidation policy open market sales scheme should be transparent etc 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 वो सब ठीक है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन स्टोरेज वी हैव डन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन द इंफ्रा पॉइंट स्टोरेज वी हैव कवर्ड ऑलरेडी 
नाउ कम्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गुड्स का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हो रहा है गुड्स का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हो रहा है मैप फेयर प्राइस शॉप्स कनेक्ट द फेयर प्राइस शॉप्स पुट जीपीएस इन ट्रक्स सर क्या बोल रहे हो द फूड विच गोज टू प्रिवेंट डाइवर्जन पुट जीपीएस इन ट्रक्स सो दैट यू कैन ट्रैक द ट्रक्स की वेर दे आर गोइंग आर दे गोइंग आउट ऑफ रूट समवेयर ठीक है जीपीएस इन ट्रक्स डाल दिया देन ऑपरेट दैम और ऑपरेशन और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन का जो जिम्मेदारी है rather than giving it to rather than giving everything to government officials give some responsibility to shgs self help groups cooperatives they will help you fourth point beneficiary beneficiaries who is getting how do you identify beneficiary aadhar linking check for duplicates and ghosts ghost beneficiaries what else can you do biometric authentication all of that comes with aadhar what can you do try dbt we know what is dbt try jam You don't have to write the words try in the answer. Ah, huh? you can only write implementation of DBT on a pilot basis, etc. Don't use crude words like try and all that I have written so that we understand when we are revising. Okay, these are the revamping or reforms which are required under um, this thing under PDS. Now, is there any reforms which are already done? Yes, there are some recent reforms which are done. let us discuss some recent reforms which are done we are in pds right some recent reforms which are done very important very 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 important digitization of ration cards very important biggest reform of pandemic very important biggest one nation one ration card obviously we have done aadhar linking and all of that time pass earlier fps fair price shops were not computerized now we have started doing computerization of fps so they are connected to one lan local area network so that you can trace ki acha this pds is having less stock send the truck there truck is having gps gone there stock increased which may diversion happens you come to know because their stock is not increased okay computerization of fps Computerization of fair price shops. ठीक है GPS and all we have done. We have done DBT. ये सब forget forget goods. See here we are telling use DBT and use Jam. Me we are telling you don't give them rice and wheat at low cost. Give them money, transfer them money, let them buy whatever they want. समझा DBT. Let them buy whatever they want. Give them rice, give them wheat. वो मत करो. You are giving them what you are giving them at subsidized prices. Same. Remember farmer example. Direct subsidy. Instead of subsidizing electricity, give him full bill and give him cash. सामने. Let him decide how much to use, how much not to use. Same. Try DBT. Try Jam. DBT is being done in Chandigarh. Daman Diu Puducherry. Why UTs? See, why UTs? Because they are these are directly under the control of central government. I hope by now you know this. 
and these are small. So when they are small, it becomes easy to conduct experiments to see what can go wrong, to see what is, uh, you know, kya ho sakta hai, how can it be improved. Now we will speak about one nation, one ration card. This is a very important reform. See, every person who has a ration card which is issued, now it is digital, everything is digital. One who has ration card issued is mapped to a fair price shop where you stay. So you get your quota from there only. You get your rice, wheat, everything you get from there. What happens when you migrate for work to somewhere else? You are a farmer, you get your grains in the Bajuwala fair price shop. What will happen if you have to go to a metro city or if you have to go to an urban area to work? You cannot use your ration card there. Right? So to solve this problem, one nation, one ration card. Remember in pandemic, almost all the migrants did not have money. Migrants had come from Eastern India to Western India. Normally that is how migration happens from rural to urban. That is how migration happens. So when they were here, when they were here, when they were here, what happened? They did not have money because jobs were closed and uh, the industries were closed. And they could not get their ration also because they had their ration card with them, but jana hai wapis. Then what? See, normally people don't don't buy from PDS shops unless they are really poor. Have you ever bought from PDS shop? Some some of you maybe. Some of you never. Okay? We used to buy from PDS shops when I was small. I remember we me and my father we used to go with ration card to PDS shops. To buy. Okay? So, what One Nation, One Ration Card does is portability. You can buy from any FPS shop you want, just swipe your card, or if it is digital, just tell the number, authenticate biometric, other linkage, khatam, finish, you will get your grain, sir. Okay? Interstate and intrastate portability interstate and intrastate portability and now very interesting very very interesting and this was recommended in 2017 by Partha Mukhopadhyay working group this is very important Recommended by ठीक है वन नेशन वन रेशन का इंटरस्टेट एंड इंटरस्टेट पोर्टेबिलिटी के लिए वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वन नेशन वन रेशन का वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यस वेरी गुड ठीक है, then इसके बाद very interesting feature is he can use only fifty percent of family quota. So if you are if you are using your ration card at a fair price shop which is not your mapped fair price shop somewhere else in India, you can use only fifty percent of family quota there because your family is at home. If you use the entire quota, let's say someone has come from UP to uh, Mumbai, suppose. If he is using the entire quota in Mumbai, then what will the family eat? Quota khatam. So, 50% of family quota. Now, do you realize for all this, all these things, all these things have a risk of technological glitches? Everything, whatever we have discussed, they are dependent on technology which causes glitches. Glitches means faults misfunctions, malfunctions. Second again, literacy, what kind of literacy, technical literacy, technology literacy, internet connectivity, everywhere internet should be there. Okay. All these are very, very, very important things to be considered. All these are things which should be 
taken care of all these are things which uh, need to be ensured to ensure a seamless experience but obviously it is not as rosy as it sounds what are the alternatives to pds can you suggest any alternatives to pds alternatives to pds direct benefit transfer remember ubi there is one more option food coupons food coupons food coupons sir what are food coupons instead of giving them grains give them food coupons instead of giving them cash give them food coupons that coupon they will get that they can go to the fair price shop give them the coupon and take away the grain so that food coupons will be issued at government authorized centers you can go there you can show your ration card you can get the coupon then at your convenience you can go and you can okay that is also one more way of doing so alternatives to pds mein ye ho gaya okay i give you a homework here i'll give you a homework read shanta kumar committee recommendations read shanta kumar committee recommendations that is your homework majorly we have discussed but it has also shown or it has uh, it has also given some more recommendations i suggest you read them when you do this lecture we can discuss them in the zoom session sounds fair enough thoda aap bhi karo theek hai there are around 10 to 15 recommendations we have discussed 3 to 4 of them theek hai so they have given recommendations on procurement on pds on national food security act we are yet to see national food security act they have given recommendations on uh, movement on buffer stock etc etc we are going to see all of that okay now we come to next syllabus point what is next syllabus point after pds what is after pds issues related to direct indirect farm subsidy ye wo ye wo sab ho gaya what is the next syllabus point the next syllabus point is buffer stock issues of buffer stock and food security yes or no issues of buffer stock and food security now what do you understand by the term buffer stock buffer stock means can i say reserve stock thoda basic रिजर्व स्टॉक बफर रखा है ना रिजर्व स्टॉक वाई डू यू नीड बफर स्टॉक चलो टेल मी वाई डू यू नीड टू एंश्योर स्मूथ सप्लाय बराबर प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट कैलमिटी or protection against calamity or unforeseen circumstances like covid to control prices right and obviously nutrition to hai everywhere it is there everywhere buffer stock who fixes sorry who recommends msp who recommends msp cacp i hope you remember cacp commission on agricultural costs and prices cacp 
आई होप यू रिमेंबर सी ए सी पी हु डिसाइड हाउ मच बफर स्टॉक इज टू बी केप्ट हु डिसाइड हाउ मच बफर स्टॉक इज टू बी केप्ट कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स सीसीईए कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स हु इज द चेयरपर्सन चेयरपर्सन इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इज द चेयरपर्सन कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स डिसाइडिंग बफर स्टॉक मोर देन बफर स्टॉक वी ऑल्सो हैव समथिंग एल्स वी ऑल्सो हैव समथिंग एल्स बफर स्टॉक के भी आगे वी हैव समथिंग एल्स वी हैव मोर रिजर्व स्टॉक व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेटेजिक रिजर्व इट इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेटेजिक रिजर्व ओके इट इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेटेजिक रिजर्व okay for buffer stock and strategic reserves currently these norms keep on changing these norms keep on changing these norms are declared on a quarterly basis every year how much to be maintained is declared on a quarterly basis quarterly basis means what is the first quarter of the year don't say jan say april financial year hai april जुलाई अक्टूबर जैन और क्वार्टरली बेसिस तो फर्स्ट अप्रैल फर्स्ट जुलाई फर्स्ट अक्टूबर फर्स्ट जैन को डिक्लेयर होगा ये हाउ मच इट इज हाउ मच बफर स्टॉक इज टू बी मेंटेन सर हाउ मच बफर स्टॉक डू वी मेंटेन we maintain buffer stock of rice we maintain buffer stock of wheat we maintain buffer stock of pulses in teenon ka buffer stock we maintain we also maintain a strategic reserve of all these things earlier it was only rice and wheat pulses who will who will procure pulses so pulses ka procurement for buffer stock the responsibility was given to obviously fci nafed i given you homework to read about them nafed and sfac read about these nafed and sfac read about these institutions who are they what they do read about them they also have a key role in procurement of pulses for the purposes of buffer stock theek hai now how 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 procurement is done we saw that diagram so yahan pe storage mein side mein they will also keep certain buffer stock and they will keep certain strategic reserve see this is unrelated to agriculture but strategic reserve is also kept of oil of crude oil strategic reserve we have four sites of strategic reserves currently and four more are under construction padur in mangalore एंड ओडिशा में दो है आई डोंट रिकलेक्ट द नेम बट वी हैव स्ट्रेटेजिक रिजर्व फॉर ऑयल ऑल्सो टूमोरो इफ ड्यू टू इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन गोइंग सार इफ वी इफ वी आर नॉट एबल टू प्रोक्योर ऑयल फ्रॉम इरान यूएसए सऊदी अरेबिया इराक इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रोक्योर देन वॉट विल डू ऑयल तो चाहिए फ्यूल वी नीड वी नीड पेट्रोल सो वी हैव स्ट्रेटेजिक रिजर्व अंडरग्राउंड स्ट्रेटेजिक रिजर्व है strategic reserves private indian strategic reserves private lim, uh, public limited that is the company which is going to manage these there is a separate company only to manage these 
oil reserves and that is an spv special purpose vehicle i hope you realize what is an spv now what are the issues with buffer stock if you read about sfac and nafed you can write it here what are the issues of sf sorry what are the issues of buffer stock what are the issues of buffer stock we we, we did this yesterday okay we did this yesterday open ended procurement second inefficient inventory management fifo nahi ho raha hai i told you fifo is not happening inefficient inventory management third lack of transparent liquidation policy i hope you are realizing this see buffer stock has to be maintained only up to a certain level na uske upar so you need to liquidate why you need to liquidate because it will keep on rotting in your warehouses uh, you ek to don't have enough capacity also we don't have enough warehousing capacity in india we have cap covered and plinth we don't need covered and plinth we need silos i hope you remember covered and plinth can you know go away sad jayega barish hote lack of transparent liquidation policy which is nothing but omss theek hai you liquidate stocks in the name of omss high cost of operations very 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 high cost of operations high cost of operation that is very important what is the fourth point high cost of operations to maintain such a high stock you need lights in the room light lagega ac lagega cold storage lagega cost who will wear the cost you need only 32 million tons of stock let's say and you are storing 50 million tons ac ka cost who will pay ac bill high cost and ultimately inefficient itna mehnat karke you are storing if your if your pds is inefficient inefficient tpds you know when this aadhar and then dbt was introduced with biometric authentication do you know what was the first issue everyone faced guess try to guess the first issue which everyone faced क्या लगता है व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट इश्यू विच पीपल फेस्ड द फर्स्ट इश्यू विच एवरी वन फेस्ड और द फर्स्ट इश्यू विच पीपल फेस्ड वॉज दे डिड नॉट हैव प्रॉपर फिंगरप्रिंट्स very important very 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 important they did not have proper fingerprints samjha did you understand they did not have proper fingerprints why because of manual work because of washing because of construction work they did not have proper fingerprints how will you authenticate internet connection telecom availability secondary thing literacy secondary thing you know so many practical issues come and see i have read all of this all of this is available in books whatever we have discussed it is all there in books whatever we have discussed is uh, available in class notes also in different classes notes also it is the same thing but from where do they get this they get this from newspaper so that is why i tell you always refer to the primary source okay so my primary source is always and always newspapers did you understand the issues with buffer stock did you understand the issues with uh msp did you understand the issue with the entire process kaise hota hai kya hota hai this is very 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 important now do you remember in the last slide actually since we 
since this is the next lecture i couldn't uh, i can't edit that earlier this thing earlier file earlier board file do you remember we had kept one slide blank for essential commodities amendment act now let us discuss that Essential Commodities 1955 was amended to Essential Commodities Amendment Act 2020. ठीक है? What are the issues with Essential Commodities Amendment Act 2020? What are the issues? What do you think are the issues with Essential Commodities Amendment Act? Very first issue, very 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 first issue is that, or उसके पहले issue के पहले objectives. What are the objectives? The main objective of Essential Commodities Amendment, sorry, Essential Commodities Act was certain commodities are essential and they cannot be stopped even under any circumstances. For example, food grains. For example, fuel. For example, electricity. The the people employed in these industries cannot go on strike irrespective of what happens. Chemicals, medicines, okay, essential commodities. These are declared to be essential commodities. Okay, so these the objective of the act was that so this was uh, this act was uh, uh, enacted in 1955 and in 1955 we were focusing on how to continuously march ahead, boost production and everything. So Essential Commodities Act essentially says that ki the list they have a list whatever commodities are given in the list are listed here. The employees in those services cannot go on strike. Before giving two months, uh, two weeks notice, the employees, uh, the workers, or the suppliers of those commodities cannot hold the supplies. H O A R D I N G holding, jama karke rakna, cannot hold the supplies. See, if you are a if you are a medicine manufacturer, if you supply medicines, what will happen if you sell or if you send only a few medicines in the market, and what will happen if there are no competitors? Kya hoga? The price of medicine will rise. You will keep on sending only a limited number of medicines in the market. Not allowed because medicines are listed under Essential Commodities Act. ठीक है? So government can prosecute you against holding. So different. So that, उसका भी criticism है कि government harasses people. They are not holding. Normal flow चल रहा है. Then also they are harassing people. So the other side is also there. Very valid. Very true. ठीक है? Essential Commodities Act. food grains everything now what are the what are the main provisions or what are the main uh, changes which are made in essential commodities act that we are going to see The amendment says, amendment says that food items to be removed from the list of essential commodities, which means that regulation can be done only under extraordinary circumstances. Regulation can be done only on an extraordinary circumstances. Regulation of food items can be done only under extraordinary circumstances. Extraordinary. Only under extraordinary circumstances, regulation can be done only under extraordinary circumstances. These include war, fam famine, or uh, drastic price rise. regulation under only extraordinary circumstances and any stock limit so essential commodities act gave power to the government to impose stock limits theek hai ki you cannot keep more than this much limit hai 
मेडिकल मेडिसिन मैन्युफैक्चरर को बोल दिया यू कैन नॉट कीप मोर देन दिस मच मेडिसिन यू हैव टू रिलीज इन द मार्केट टू एंश्योर स्मूथ सप्लाई नाउ इट इज ऑल डी रेगुलेटेड नाउ वी आर डिसमेंटलिंग इट वी आर डिसमेंटलिंग दिस एक्ट Last year's economic survey spoke about excessive regulation in form of essential commodities. So this act was made when we were in wars, 62 war, 72 war. We had prepared for wars. We were preparing for war. We were preparing for droughts. We were preparing for famines. But now it is not the case. Now we have to ensure that market players, suppliers, buyers, they have a free reign. Government should not intervene. This was the biggest intervention by the government. That oh, this price, this is an essential commodity. X, Y, Z rules have to be followed for that. Supplier will say, "Arey, but let me do my business. It is my business strategy. So unless there is an average or drastic price rise, unless there is a war, unless there is a famine, unless there is any natural calamity, any natural calamity, you cannot impose." or you cannot regulate food and stock limits ye jo price rise ki baat kar rahe hain what is the meaning of this stock limits can only be imposed when there is a 100% price rise increase in price of horticulture products and 50% increase in other perishable agricultural goods okay i hope this is clear i hope this is easily understood i hope this is fairly simple to understand 100% increase in price in horticulture and 50% increase in other perishable agricultural goods so essential commodities act you read about essential commodities act because you know it takes another lecture to only discuss essential commodities act now we can maybe discuss in zoom like zoom sessions you can ask sir please tell about essential commodities act i will tell you because of paucity of time i am just left with no option but to tell only the amendments because these are current so what are the issues you think issues are yes monopoly may happen suppliers might misuse this freedom and the monopolization cartelization might happen but yes there are other laws there are other measures to control that as well samjha theek hai essential commodities act this poses a threat to food security how because if you cannot compel the suppliers to supply more prices might rise they might not be drastic but prices might rise and then it is a threat to food security hence this topic i kept for your food security ke liye food security we are not even started yet but normal english say you can understand what is food security samjha i hope it is fairly clear i hope it is understood agriculture you need to revise a lot there are so many things in agriculture but yes they are so easy and they are once you once you know the flow once you know what is how it works it becomes very very simple to understand read about essential commodities act also chalo that is also your homework read about essential commodities act read shanta kumar committee recommendations and read essential commodity act and read about these these institutions this is your homework another homework is read about essential commodities act and its amendment and its effect always remember medicines are also there it is not only an agricultural law it is overall overall economy overall supply law hai ye it is it has fuel it has agricultural goods it has medicines it has uh, all other types of goods also right so we'll stop here food security is remaining animal rearing is remaining technology is very simple we'll cover that in hardly 15 20 minutes 
because technology mein there are a lot of schemes which you need to read i'll give you a list of scheme you have to read them because there are so many and separately for prelims you will anyways cover schemes in current affairs and schemes booklet so wo ho jayega don't worry about that worry about the schemes which come in newspaper worry about them them you need to study nicely theek hai i hope this is easy i hope this is manageable i hope you are liking it you are enjoying it agriculture i hope the terms are very clear now msp economic cost issue price procurement price food subsidy fertilizer subsidy uh, then uh, nutrient based subsidy urea subsidy neem coating of urea so many things are there now feeder separation oh sir advanced right these issues are fairly simple shanta kumar committee you have to read we discussed three four major points issues with buffer stock issues with pds tpds ubi universal basic income so many things we have covered right if you really like it if you really understand it if you appreciate it let me know through telegram uh, it feels good to receive such positive messages if you have any doubt then you can ask me at any point of time i am always here msp is declared for certain limited commodities only not for all commodities procurement is done of certain limited commodities only not for all commodities pds mein issue is done only of rice wheat mainly rice wheat pulses core cereals thoda thoda kabhi kabhi some states give pds mein only kerosene sugar rice and wheat is given did you notice we are maintaining buffer stock why we are maintaining buffer stock not only to issue in pds but to issue during normal times also let us make a small diagram here in buffer stock ठीक है प्रोक्योरमेंट सॉरी फार्मर से गुड्स आया इन द स्टोरेज एफ सी आई स्टोरेज ठीक है इट गोज टू पी डी एस इट गोज टू एक्सपोर्ट्स it goes to omss open market and this is at market prices this is not at pds prices always remember only this is a discounted price na rupees 3 rupees 1 jo bhi hai we have not seen the pds price of national food security act yet that is that will come in food security we will see there but this omss price is at retail price now tell me if this stock is old what will happen to this price will reduce it's an old stock market price will keep on reducing but you have just procured it yesterday fresh hai the mal is fresh you can sell it at a higher price hence we need a transparent liquidation policy hence the buffer stock norm should say that ki the moment the moment iske upar chale jata hai you have to offload it theek hai why is this done why is this done to maintain price stability maintain price stability and offload excess stock and ensure availability also okay we'll stop here i hope this is very clear please go through it once more please revise everything once again please note how subsidies function uh, how nutrient subsidies and all of them are different uh, fertilizer subsidies are different from other types of fertilizers msp issues of msp buffer stock fci everything you have to know very well open market sales scheme hai it is not purchasing a huh? purchasing is done from this side this is sales side right please keep on revising we'll cover food food security and the rest of the points in the next lecture uh, thank you so much keep on revising Let's continue in the next lecture. Thank you.